Du corps de Bess. Du corps de Bess. This is an LMDI production. Du corps de Bess. Du corps de Bess. This is an LMDI production. Du corps de Bess. Du corps de Bess. This is an LMDI production. Du corps de Bess. This is an LMDI production. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, from Von Germain Luffer County today, Sunday, June the 19th, Du corps de Bess is beginning now. Thank you. By election 2022 to replace Brownie Samuka. We call today and we'll get into this hall the following candidates. Procession. Today, to call the best beginning of Vonjama called. And we'll get candidate for Senate Momo Tanu Cyrus. Momo Tanu Cyrus will proceed. Thank you. Momo Tanu Cyrus. Momo Tanu Cyrus is proceeding to the podium to speak with you, the people of Lofa. Momo Tanu Kali Cyrus is proceeding into the hall of debate today. Thank you very much. Momo Tanu Kali Cyrus has arrived. Thank you, Cyrus. Today, on Duke of Debates, we call. And we're getting the hall candidate for Senate. Maria Moore Beyond Fafana. Maria Moore Beyond Fafana. The only woman candidate in the race. On Duke the Bates. Maria Moore Beyond Fafana is arriving to speak with you, the people of Lofa. Von Jema, debate number one, 2022. Maramo Fofana. Candidate for Senate, Maramo Beyond Fofana, is arriving to speak with you. Thank you. On Duco debates, Maramo has arrived. To speak with you, the people of Von Jema, you the people of Lofa. Today, we called and will hopefully get Joseph Pato Jala. Joseph Pato Jala should be in the hall, yet absent. Today, do God the best called. And we'll hopefully get Galakwai W. Kotimai. Galakwai W. Kotimai should be here today. 
And to God the best we call and should get in this hall. Candidate for Senate, Sumo Kupi. Sumo G. Kupi. Last but not the least, we call and should get Josh Beyond Sama. George Sama is also absent. Ladies and gentlemen, having brought in the two available candidates, may we now rise to take Liberia's national anthem. Thank you. Thank you very much. On two call debates, Liberia's national anthem. Please sing it together. Thank you. Oh, hey. Sing, sing, sing. Let's land off. Clap for Liberia, have your seats. On Duco debates, debate number one, election 2022, by election for the Senate of Lofa, beginning now. Today, we called six candidates in the race and they agreed to attend. We call candidates alphabetically based on the elections rule by the surname. We call Momo Tanu Koli Cyrus and he has gracefully arrived huh, to speak with you. We call and Guard in the Hall candidate for Senate, Mariamu Bayan Fofana, and she has gracefully arrived to speak with you. We call candidate for Senate, Joseph Pato Jala. He agreed to attend. We still have yet to see him. We call Galakwai W. Kotiman. He agreed to come. He has yet to arrive. We call candidate for Senate Sumo G. Kupi. He agreed to come. Has yet to arrive. We call George Beyond Sama. He agreed to come. Has yet to arrive. They may be arriving, but it's important for people who want to lead you to meet you in gatherings like this that are way beyond just their political rallies. So we are happy that our two candidates have arrived in time to speak with you. Without much to do, bend your head and pray to your God the way you do. Thank you. A minute of silence. Amen. Today, Duke of Debates is glad to come to Vonjama. Is our mayor in? Apparently absent, so we will not get a welcome. But we are here. Now we are here and in partnership 
with support from the United States Agency for International Development Day and ourselves partner to do these debates across the country. We don't have internews here today who we are working with and so I like to tell you that Duke of Debates works across Liberia in every election. We go everywhere doing these debates. And so we are here today to provide a level playing field for you, the people of Lofa. We're trying to make debate a part of our democratic culture. And small, small, we will get there. So that is why Duke of Debates. Now today, we got a team of moderators running this debate. Adam Toba, the other moderator, will bring you. Duke of Debates. Duke of Debates. This is an LMDI production. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to read to you the biographies of our moderators who make up the team of moderators for today's debate. Today in Vonjaman City, Lofa County, we have Bungafali Tama. Bungafali Tama is a broadcast journalist, a social worker, and trauma healing counselor with many years of affiliate working experience in peace building and trauma healing. Bunga Falitama holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Mass Communication and Theology from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem in the Holy Land of Israel with a particular interest in human psychology. Bunga Falitama is an accomplished few worker with a huge niche in community mobilization. Tama has worked for many institutions in Liberia, including the Lutheran Church and World Service Trauma Healing Department. Tama practically specializes in peace building and trauma counseling. Bunga Fali Tama most recently worked for the National Elections Commission as a senior elections monitor in the 2017 elections. At the moment, Bunga Falitama is acting program director of the Liberia Media for Democratic Initiatives, LMDR. Hence, his selection as a facilitator and moderator of LMDR's debates and forums. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to present to you Bunga Fali Tama. Okay. There is Bunga Fali Tama. Thank you very much. Also on the team of moderator is the humble servant D. Adam Toba. Adam is a teacher and journalist with more than 15 years of working experience in Liberia. Adam holds a Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of Liberia in mass communications with emphasis in linguistic communication. He studied English, French, political science and has certificates in education and journalism. Adam has worked for many media and academic institutions in Liberia including the University of Liberia and the Salvation Army School System he teaches journalism with specialty in broadcast content gathering and production instead of the art computerized software editing at the Peter Kukwe School of Journalism in Congo Town, Liberia. D. Adam Toba is currently the Deputy Director of the Liberia Media for Democratic Initiatives, LMDR, and also works to coordinate and supervise LMDR annual national academic challenge competition or tomorrow's people for all levels of secondary education in Liberia. Ladies and gentlemen, the humble servant D. Adam Toba. Finally, on our team of moderator today is John O. Colley. 
our lead moderator. John O'Colly is the founder and director responsible for the day-to-day -day management of the Liberia Media for Democratic Initiatives, LMDR. John Colley is a journalist, community social worker, and a human rights activist with more than 20 years of experience working in Liberia and around the world. John Colley is currently engaged in a human rights struggle with the Liberian government in a bid to restore the dignity of tens of thousands of Liberians whose more than 3,000 homes were destroyed by the Liberian government on a former president, Ellen Johnson Salif, and the people forcefully evicted and wantonly displaced with no settlement at the Fendel campus of the University of Liberia in the dispute over the land on which the UL Fender campus is. He has received awards for his journalism and astute practice of the perfection from the Press Union of Liberia, PUL, and was awarded the prestigious National Endowment for Democracy, NED Fellowship, at the International Forum for Democratic Studies in Washington, D.C. in 2006. John has also worked for Radio France International, RFR, as one of his senior English correspondents in West Africa. He worked for the BBC World Service Trust as head of a team of eight reporters from West Africa covering the trial of former Liberian President Charles Taylor before the UN back Special Court for Sierra Leone, which sat at the International Criminal Court in The Hague. John has worked for the Washington based Search for Common Ground, supervising the media activities of the organization's multimedia Liberian project called the Talking Drum Studio based in Monrovia. John O'Colley holds a Master of Arts degree in Development Communication and a Bachelor's degree in Management and Communication with many certificates in journalism and media in peace building from institutions in West Africa and around the world. John Colley is a known consumer and prolific lead facilitator and moderator of public forums and debates on two of his organizations, new platform, people to people platform, the dialogue and Duca debates. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor most respectfully to usher on this podium, none other but our lead moderator, John O'Colley. Allow hands of applause Thank for you. John O'Colley. Duca debates. This is an LMDI production. All right, so today our debates will take the format of three segments. One, self-introduction. Two, the trending issues, Q&A. Three, inter-Canada's questions and answers. Four, you the people talking to them. Having said that, there are rules to the game. Bonga Fali Tamba will bring you today our ground rules. Thank you. Duke of the best. Good afternoon to all. Peace for all. All for peace. Okay. I'm happy to be here and uh, with an honor to be certified to bring you rules to this debate. Ladies and gentlemen, we have about 10 rules. Rule number one, all phones on silence. Rule number two, no clapping. No clapping during the debate unless allowed or requested by the moderators. So rule number three, no booing, no booing because everyone in here will be saying something that will make sense. Absolutely no booing or jeering during this debate. Rule number four, unauthorized or recognized questions. Unauthorized 
on unrecognized questions are prohibited, meaning you will have to be recognized before you say something or ask a question. Rule number six, no, rule number five, concision in presentation. Give concise answer to questions and stick to the issues. As parents or Kennedy are required to give concise answers and questions during this debate. Rule number six is a timeline, timeline for speeches. Aspirants or candidates are required to observe the projected timelines for speeches during the debate. The timelines for this debate are electronically projected with ends indicated by appropriate line bell or ring sign. Do call the best. Personal attacks. Personal attacks are undesired at all Duke or debate sections. Rule number eight, profinity or hate speech. Profinity or hate speeches are prohibited throughout this debate. Rule number nine, butter cries. Jose, Jose, party B, Jose, party A, Jose, will not be allowed here. The last but not the least is the alcohol, which is the big one, the big and absolutely no alcoholic beverages are allowed in all, at all Duke debates sections like this. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for giving me your ears. I hope you will follow these rules so that we can make this debate a civilized one. Thank you very much. Duke of debates. Thank you. So we are set out for the debate. As Tamba said, each candidate will be given a specific time to speak. For example, since uh, Sama is not here yet, we might give Sama five seconds to speak. And we ask Sama to take the podium. And we say, Sama, are you ready? And Sama tells us, yes, we are. And then we say, okay, Sama, your five seconds are rolling. And we clock his timing like that. And he will be stopped at the end of the sound. Duke the best. Duke the best. That's why we stop every speaker here. No cheating. You come here to propound on why people must vote for you. We expect you to respect each other. We will stop you once you turn profane. Thank you. Today, we are going alphabetically by the last name, which means that in the order of registration, the NEC has named these people by their last name, the letter. So between Fofana and Cyrus, who will be the first? Cyrus, right? And Cyrus will take the podium. Thank you. Thank you. So you can say hello, you can wave, let us know when you're ready, and we clock in your time. All right. Today, we are giving each speaker five minutes to introduce yourself and give a small of your platform what you want to do. So Cyrus, if you are ready, let us know. Are you ready? Hello to all. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Thank you. If you are ready, watch out for your time starting now. Thank you. Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. Hello to all. 
My name is Momo Tanikoli Cyrus. I am Myra Children. My wife is right there. Uh, I hold a master's degree in international relations from the University of Liberia. I'm expected to get another degree in criminal justice, master's. I am the CEO and general manager for the SIGA Security, Liberia's largest private security company with over 3,000 employees in 13 of the 15 counties. I'm also a lecturer at the Foreign Service Institute, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I'm a Lufian, Loma by tribe. I have come as a son of Lofa to seek your vote so that we can develop Lofa together. Thank you. Thank you. Finish. All right. Cyrus has served actually three minutes and 48 seconds of his time. Thank you, Cyrus. Goodbye. This is the shortest since we began to call the base. So Cyrus spoke for one minute and 12 seconds. Cyrus is a, a graduate. He's gone through the corridor of school. He's got a master's in international relations and is lecturing international relations at the Foreign Service Institute. Cyrus runs, he says, you are here, you know him. I don't. Cyrus runs what he calls the largest security institution, private security firm in Liberia. He claims to have over 3,000 workers across the country. Cyrus has come to Lofa to work with you. Cyrus stops right there, saving three minutes and 48 seconds of his time. Thank you very much, Cyrus. Cyrus, and Momo Tano call it Cyrus. If you believe him, John the 28. Thank you. Next, today, we called and gracefully got candidate for Senate, Mariamu Bian Fofana. Mariamu, may you take the podium? Thank you. Thank you very much. Candidate for Senate Fofana is arriving to speak with you. Okay. Test the mic, madam. Hello, hello, hello. You can wave to them. Hey. Good, that's it. Thank you. Now let us know when you are ready. Relax, let us know when you're ready. I'll take a deep breath. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> are you ready? Thank you. So we're going to watch out for your time so we don't cheat you. Thank you. So, Maria Mubian for Fana, candidate for Senate. If you're ready, your time is rolling from five minutes to zero. Thank you. Do call the best. Thank you, LMDI. Thank you to the audience. Thank you to the people of Lofa County. My name is Marian Bian Fofana Haya. I represent the people of District Number no. Four in the National Legislature of Born and Raised in Tusu Town slash Banjama City. Here, went to school here from grade school to high school. Never lived anywhere else beside Banjama Lofa County. And I'm married with four kids. Uh, you can call me Equal Opportunity Offender. I have two boys, two girls. And uh, also, um, because of time factor, I wouldn't want to bore you too much with my educational credentials, but I hold a degree in information technology, business administration, and project management. I am vying for this position so that we can be able to change the narrative of Lofa County for the best especially so giving the voices of women, bringing it to the table so that it can be part of the solutions instead of problem. So for today, our purpose, I look forward to a fruitful discussion. I look forward to debating with my brother, who is a childhood friend, by the way. And that's why you see the reason why we, we hang in here. So hey, let's be peaceful. Let's keep it neat. And let's talk about the issues. I look forward to that. Thank you for the opportunity. 
Great, thank you. Have you seen that, madam? So she saved three minutes and 30 seconds of her time. Lofa looks like it will not give us headache. Maria Mufafana was born in this district, somewhere called Tusu. Maria Mu went to school here largely. She doesn't want to talk about her education or background as much, but she has some consumer deals in information technology. She's into business and has a degree there. Hey, I like peace. I want to work with you. My colleague on the podium is a childhood friend. Peace is what we are in search of. I come to work with you. I don't want to bore you with much of the talks. Let's work together. Mariamu Bian Fofana, candidate for Senate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, may you give a hand of applause to the both candidates. All right, Duco Debates, Avonjama today, debate number two, by election 2022. It's taking a break to be back. Do call the best. Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. Each one shot, each one yes. Each one shot, each one yes. Honey. I was listening to the radio the other day and I hear people saying each one, teach one. What I want really mean? It means one person who no book more help the other person when I no book to no book, especially in the area of reading and writing. All you need, number one, your ABC book. Number two, your copy book. Three, pencil and free time for you and for your teacher. Then if you know it well, well you can help other people to be like you. La what we call each one, teach one. I think whenever you do the thing here, then we all help in the main Liberia, good country and big bold country. A message brought to you by Literate Liberia Movement. Each one shot, each one, each one yes. Each one shot, each one yes. Do call the best. Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. And now we are back. Today, we have brought some issues for you to contend with. And those issues are called trending issues. They are issues that actually concern you, us, Liberia. Not very strange to all of the country. You know them. We found those out from you. And so today we didn't bring you the biography of our other moderator who we picked from here. Sorry for that. Julius Howard is our other moderator. He works for Radio Kintoma. He's a social worker, very active in Lofa. So Julius will bring to you the trending issues. Julius. Thank you very much. Listen to them carefully, because they should matter to you. Thank you. Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. Thank you so much. And I'm asked to draw you through the trending issues that are of essence to every one of this county, and that exactly is what I will do. The trending issues include, number one, legislative knowledge, what does the candidate know about the legislature, its function vis-a-vis -vis the troublesome welfare of the constituents? Keeping the peace after the election, the need for unity, alleged disunity arising from the long and bitter struggle over the Brown and Samokai legal debacle and attorney denial, the lack or absence of banks in LOFA for financial and economic activities, the legislative passage 
and award of contracts, concessions, and mineral development agreements in proper security of such contracts, concessions, and awards with consequential failure to monitor and ensure the agreed benefits of the operational areas and affected communities and its people. Lofas Me Highway from the rest of the country through Bond County to Medicoma and Foya, its reconditioning and potential pavement. Lofas alleged bypass by the West African power pool vis a vis the lightening up or electrification of the county, any thought out plan by the candidates. Is Lofa still Liberia's breadbasket? If yes, why? And if no, why not? And can anything be done to reverse or shift the pedigree? If no, I the seven major training issues that I'm asked to draw you through. Thank you so much. Thank you. You heard them? Are there no issues of concern to you? Are they? Good. The road, the concessions in the country, is Lofa still a breadbasket? If no, why not? If yes, why? All those, your candidates here will answer today. And so Adam Toba will lead each candidate for at least seven minutes. Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. Okay, uh, as you listen to John, we have the trending issues, the issues that matter to the people of Lofa County. So we'll call the candidates one at a time, and then we'll quiz the candidates. They will have to respond to the issues. So, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you be very attentive and per tradition we need to follow the alphabetical order so per alphabetical order i'm pleased to welcome to this stage to address trending issues in vonjaman city none other but the candidate momo tanu Kali saras thank you welcome sir please uh make sure thank the, you the thank you so much okay, thank you. okay. Welcome again, sir. Thank you. Okay. How knowledgeable are you in terms of uh, the core functions of a senator? Before answering a question, kindly allow me to appreciate Team Liberia or Team Lofa County for being present in this hall, headed by Edda Smith. I want to appreciate Edda Smith for you and your team for giving us, for giving us this opportunity. Now to your question. Uh, I got my first degree in political science, so I have very strong knowledge on governance. Henceforth, uh, we know that as a legislator, you will have oversight responsibility. You will need to lobby with your colleagues and other institutions, and government institutions as well, for your people. So I, Momo Cyrus, if I'm elected to the Senate, from my entrepreneurship background, I've come from strong knowledge in, in lobbying and networking. Henceforth, I will ensure that my office, through my office, LOFA will benefit from my skills of negotiating. I will also lobby with my colleagues. Interestingly, in the Liberian Senate, 60% of those in the Senate are already good friends of mine. We're either schoolmates, we're either Buddhists, or we're either part of an uh, academic institution, or professional organization, or just a social organization. So uh, I will lobby with my colleagues and those will benefit from me as a senator. In Liberia, it is common that their constituents expect so much from the lawmakers without even considering the core functions. So with your understanding of the core legislative functions, how do you reconcile that with the troublesome welfare of constituents? Okay, like I've always said, I will speak the better truth rather than the mm -hmm. Henceforth, I will tell my people, and that's why, as a senator, I will make sure I have my KPI meeting every six months. That is a key performing indicator. I will talk to my constituents for their expectations. I will not rise their expectations. 
I would say what I would do. And that's why I'm going to the Senate, not as a politician, but as a leader. Meaning I would tell you to fight. I would tell you what is in the, in, in, in the package, and I would deliver the package. No impression, no false pretend, straight to the point as a Senate. All right, sir, let's look at the issue of keeping the peace after the election, particularly considering the need for unity, the need for unity admits alleged acts of disunity arising from the long and bitter struggle over the Brandon Samuka legal debacle and attending denial. Look, that's the best question you have ever asked. Lofa is disunified. Lofa is not united. We are tearing each other apart on a daily basis. Henceforth, it is in my platform from day one to six months, we intend to call a, a unity conference as we are elected as senator. At that conference, we'll seek to bring all stakeholders together so we can discuss Lofa peace. We can find out what is the reason Lofa is underdeveloped. Let's look at Lofa as our common denominator. Let's see Lofa for politics, for power, for religion. Lofa is our common denominator. Lofa is all that we have. So let's unify it and develop like other countries are doing. That's what I would do uh, to, to, make, to mend the peace in Lofa. So I will call in my first six months, I'm going to seek to call a unity conference. If you like that, sir, what will you do concerning the issue of the lack or absence of banks in Lofa County? It bleeds my heart. Bleeds, it's actually, it really bleeds my heart that a county that was established in 1964 has got no commercial bank. I have said to my people on my, on my engagement trail, if you let me as senator in the next six months, we have a commercial bank established in, in, in Vonjama or in Lofa County, so to speak. How can we develop without a commercial bank for God's sake? How can we? How can a concession company come into Lofa? How can an NGO come to Lofa for a commercial bank? The people who are working have to go take their salary in Ghana. That is a disservice for our people in Lofa County. So, as soon as I get elected in six months' time, by the grace of God and the work of my team, we will have a commercial bank established in Lofa County. All right, sir. What impact can legislative interventions make regarding Lofa's main highway or regarding the reconditioning and potential pavement of Lofa's main highway from the rest of the country through Bond County to Manicoma. I don't know as to whether when you were questioning or you were putting down your questions you were reading, you truly know what Lofa needs. Look, with God being above and with the help of my team, we are seeing to the people of Lofa when you elect us in the next six months, the road between Kony and the Voyama will be pliable. It will be pliable because our people on the other side are bleeding for prices. Look, today I will come in, I saw three trucks stuck up. They got goose in those trucks. Now, every expense in car, the, the consumer will suffer it. I was in Vahu two weeks ago, they were setting a bag of rest for 5,000 librarian dollars. That is unacceptable for the Lufa people. When I get elected, the road will be pliable in six months. Trust me on that, by the grace of God. Sir, is Lofa still considered the bread basket of Liberia? How can it be? It's a Margaret. Lofa can never be the bread basket of Liberia when the people are setting rest if in Vahu for 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 one thousand, I mean five thousand Liberian dollars. Can anything be, can anything be done to revive yes, the situation? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Certainly, yes. When I get elected as senator, we will seek to work with two government institutions in order to regain our status as Liberia's breadbasket. By the way, we have, divided, we have divided our platform into three categories, which we'll talk about later. But the issue of food security in Lofa is very key for us. So we will work with the Ministry of Public Works, we will work with the Ministry of Agriculture, so that they will come and train, uh, 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 when it comes to agriculture, they will come and train our farmers, so our farmers can get their status again. In the next five years, as Senator, Lofa will gain her status as bread basket of the Republic of Iran. Under, under our leadership as Senator. Quickly and finally, there's this issue of Lofa's alleged bypass by West African power pool. Uh, so how could you possibly use your office when it comes to addressing such an issue? Look, I, I am the security provider for the West African power pool. I am the one providing their services in the Republic of Liberia. It gives me the leverage to discuss with them, but it's just it's a disappointment. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. We hope you'll come back later. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, to address trending issues today in Vonderman City, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to invite none other but a candidate, Maramu BN Fofana. Welcome, okay. madam. Thank you. Okay. All right, so we go straight to the issues. What, what is your take on the issue of the legislative passage in a war of contrast, concessions, and mineral development agreements amidst improper scrutiny of such contrast, concessions, and awards with consequential failure to monitor and ensure the agreed benefits for operational areas and affected communities to the people? Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. Thank you very much. And for our purpose here today, I am not here to defend the national legislature, but I'm here to defend my record as Mariam Fofana representative of district number four in the legislature. And I've been the one to front on passage of any legislation that had little or zero impact on the life of our people. A classical example of that was when I stood against the LCC concession agreement that was initiated prior to my election into the national legislature. Having reviewed the document, I saw that this was not going to represent the best interest of my people. And so I stood up against that legislation, even though that legislation was already ratified by the Senate. But once it got to the House, you know, it was, it was stopped right there. And so it could not go any further because it had no impact on our people. And this is what I have done ever since I got elected. I just gave you one example because of time factor. Uh, Madam, is Liberia still the, is Lofa, excuse me, is Lofa County still the breadbasket of Liberia? In a nutshell, I would say yes. And yes. I would strongly disagree with my uh, worthy opponent here. Yeah, so go ahead with the The why bread basket is, was coined by our political leaders. First, you need to look at why was that word crafted for our people. If you look at the report of the FOA, you will see that pre the war, Lofa County production in terms of rice and other edible commodities was at 37 thousand ton. Nimba County was at 46,000 ton. And yesterday, Lofa was referred to as the bread basket. Now, why was Lofa referred to as the bread basket? Because the condition that made Lofa the bread basket were very ideal. We have the best climate, we have the best land, we have the, um, you know, the rainfall. All of those fighters that make all the bread basket are still here. But now, why are we not carrying the title? After the war. After the war, we are still trending at the sea level as it was pre the war time. Nimba, the ratio of food coming from Nimba and Lofa County. The reason why it, it, it has changed because our political leaders at the time used the cooperative to empower our local farmers. FPMC was here buying the local produce. In Guinea, our closer neighbor right here, and also in Sierra Leone. Farming was not encouraged, and so under the pres under President uh, Sekoutoure regime, so all the food products that were farmed over the cocoa coffee were smuggled here. The other folks that are here were know that. So, LCADP was here, APMC was here, a lot of things was happening. So under my leadership, we are going to reclaim our title, which is just a political breaking right, has nothing to do with food production, because the food production, if you look at it, it stays the same. But here is the case, though. During the uh, pre-war status, we had the Ministry of Rural Development. They had yellow machines. So really season time interventions were made on the road. So that also has something to do with the free flow of food from here to the rest of Liberia. Today, if you look at it, that is not happening. I was just in Foya just the other day, and I saw trucks roll off. Uh, peanuts heading to Salario and Guinea. So instead of taking it to Moria now, we are taking it across because the distance, the proximity to the nearest vibrant market now is close across the border. So these are the fighters, the political way of our political leader, especially at the county level, to uh, 
empower our women, which I will be doing, to make sure that the cooperatives are taking over, are taking over and empowering our women who are involved in Madam, agriculture. Let's look at the issue of keeping the peace after the election, particularly considering the need for unity, at least alleged as of disunity arising from the long and bitter struggle over the burning Samukai's legal debacle and attending denial. This is very important. And I will encourage everybody, not just the politician on the stage, but also our constituents. Let's end elections at the pool. You know, Lofa is very unique. We are not like the other countries. If you go to Grand Jire, there's only Grand people, 90%, Nimba, the city, Grand Basa, and so on. But Lofa, we are very unique. Six different tribes squeezed in one place, three different religions, our tradition. But this is what happened. We have been able to use our tradition, uncle, nephew, and nieces, father and mother, to hold our peace together. And this is what I have been doing to hold the peace. Prior to my ascendancy to the leadership, there was always Loba and Madungo conflict, land dispute between this person and that person. Since my ascendancy, we have been able to resolve those issues. There have been zero conflict between Loba and Madingo. There have been zero conflict between land, uh, Selega and Samoru, we resolve it. Classical example is the community college. We were just able to resolve that. So trust me, after the election, we are going to be able to bring our people together because it's only in unity that we can elect any senator. No one try, no one district, no one person has been able to bring people. It has to be the entire Lofa. So my goal will be to see all as one Lofa county and not as upper, lower, Loma, Madingo, Pele, or Muslim and Christian. One Lofa county for one common purpose and this is how we will do by recognizing the mandate of the people. Let's end the election. No need to bring any other conflict after the result is announced. And I will be the first person to congratulate the winner, which I believe will be Miami Fofana. If elected senator, how will you use your office to help address the issue of the lack or absence of banks in Lofa County? You know, uh, we have been able to make some intervention, and this is why we are telling our people, you have to be able, I'm not here to give you a sentimental answer. That will pay you bridge when there's no river. Banking issues, banking issues are financial issues. The other way the bank will invest when they know that they can make profit. And so we got to get to the bottom of line to know why the bank that we have here closed. So after the bank closed, that's a long story. If I have the time, I can explain that. But we don't have the time now. We make intervention. We make intervention. And as I'm speaking, Access Bank came back to make reassessment to see how best they can try to make together. this. But not only that, we were also able to go to Echo Bank to see that. So have the motivation. Uh, All right, so thank you. You may please have your seat. So, ladies and gentlemen, we pass the mic over to our moderator, John Collin. All right, are we together? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Duco Debates is about to shut down. We want to hear one meaning departure comment from each of you, beginning with Cyrus. And Momo Cyrus in me. Your one minute departure. Thank you very much. Your departure. Statement. Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. Let me first appreciate all of you people for coming to listen to us. And I can show you that we will not be theoretical, we will be practical when you let us as senator. We will not give you the written thing, we will give you a practical thing. You will see vis-a-vis -vis the physical on the ground. You let us and let's change Lover's story again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do call the best. This is an LMDI production. Thank you very much. I want to appreciate uh, LMDI for giving all this opportunity. And I also want to say thank you to the listening audience, uh, both physically here and those that are listening to all in Radio Land. I look forward to a fruitful debate in FOIA and in Zaza and ensure our mothers that yes, 
Bible for Father will be a strong farm, soft voice for you. Don't take the softness of my voice. The strength is not in the tone, but it's in the capacity to advocate for you, which we have been doing to make sure that your voices are ministry in the Liberian national polity. Thank you for the opportunity. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please open the corridor. Now, departure. All right. Let's see the departure of Momo T. Cyrus. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. Goodbye, Momo T. Cyrus. And the departure of uh, the Obo Maria Mufufana. Thank you. Momo, please go. Goodbye. On Duke of the Bears, I'm John Kelly. On behalf of the rest of the team, goodbye from Von Jema. Duke of the Bears. Duke of the Bears. This is an LMDI production. Duke of the Bears. You call the best. This is an LMDI production. You call the best. You call the best. This is an LMDI production.